Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. In this lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Dreamweaver so you can do all of the other tutorials I have on my channel. So basically in Dreamweaver, what we want to try and achieve is set up your website in Dreamweaver so that when you um, edit a page and you press a button what Dreamweaver will do is automatically upload that file to your web server and then preview it in Google Chrome for you uh, live on the website. So that's what we're trying to achieve, uh, live website editing in Dreamweaver. So the first thing we want to do is obviously open up Dreamweaver and I want you guys to set up the layout so you can see exactly the same as what I'm seeing. So to achieve that, you're going to go to Window, Workspace Layout, and choose Code. So if you choose that, then you should be able to see pretty much similar to what I'm seeing right now. Then we're going to enter in our website details. So click Manage Sites. Alternatively, you can go to Site, Manage manage Sites. So you could do that or you could do this. They're all the same thing. So click on it. And then where it says Your Sites, it's got nothing here because we haven't set it up yet. So go to New Sites. And under the site name, just enter in the name of your website. And you're also going to type in a folder where you want to store all the files for your website. It doesn't matter um, what folder it is as long as you remember it, right? Because you don't want to save your website file somewhere and then not be able to find it. So I've located a local folder on my computer. So this is where you want it to store on your computer locally. Now we go to servers on the left hand side. Click the add new server button. And this is where you type in where you want to upload your files to so that people can see it on the internet. So you will have to find a web host and um, subscribe to them and they will give you all of these details. Uh, so make sure you've done that and then come back and type in all the details for your server. So my FTP address, uh, username, password. Once you've entered all that in, click test and just check that it all works. So where it says Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully, okay, that means it's working. So click OK. And then in the root directory, you will need to log into your uh, website first to find out what the root directory is, where they store all your web pages. Okay, so actually I'm just going to show you that now. So if you click Save, and click Save, click Done. Okay, then on your left hand side, you can see here, you can now connect to your website. So click Magic Monk Tutorials, select the website from this drop down menu, and then click Connect. So now it says that it's connecting to your website. Okay, and once it's connected, you can see here are all the files on your remote website. Now, all of these files are actually not where you store your web page because where you store your web page is actually inside this public underscore HTML folder, right? Because you can see if I double click on this, here is where I actually store the files for my website inside public underscore underscore HTML right inside this folder is where all the files for my website is stored so therefore back to um, 
where I edit the website so disconnect go back to site manage sites double click magic monk tutorials servers click into it all right so the root directory for all of my web pages is actually in public underscore HTML and then the web URL is where you want Dreamweaver to go to preview your website so this is very important so just type in the web address HTTP uh, magicmonktutorials.com all right and then when you preview a web page Dreamweaver will automatically add this address to the front of your web page. Now go to more options. You can tick passive FTP and use FTP performance optimization for now. If it doesn't work, then we'll come back and change these. So click save. And then you want to make sure that the testing box is ticked. So make sure you tick that, click save, done. Okay, now what you want to do is on the left hand side, go to local view. And you can see here, um, if you create a file, so go to file, new, just create a normal HTML file. And I'm going to save this file as um, just call it test.html. So now, whatever I type in here, so if I type this is a test to make sure Dreamweaver works, if I press F12 right now, okay, if you press F12 on your keyboard, what happens is it automatically saved this file uploads it to your website okay click yes to save uploads it to your website and then it automatic, automatically uh, load up this file in Google Chrome for you uh, with the live website address Okay, so that is what we're trying to achieve. So press F12, automatically reloads it. So let's say I add something else. This is the magic monk. So press F12 again. Uh, yes. Okay, you can see here it's updated it. So this is a very useful feature in Dreamweaver that we're going to continuously use later on throughout our debugging process. Now just a little bit more about the file manager. If you're already familiar with this then don't worry about looking at it. But basically if you click a file and you just want to upload it, okay, you don't want to preview it in Google Chrome or anything, you can just click it and click put files to remote so the upward arrow is for uploading so you upload that you can go to remote remote server view and then you can see here that it's automatically gone into the public underscore HTML folder because that's what we specified earlier on and if you want to download a file let's say I want to go into images and I want to download this file you can click on it and just click the downward arrow to download it. All right, so you can see here it's downloading the file you selected. Alternatively, you can also click on a file, press hold down shift, and then highlight a whole bunch of files and then download them as a group by clicking this arrow. So now if you go to local view, you can see here that I've downloaded that images file. It'll also automatically create the folder for you to put the file in with the exact same structure. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Hope you learned something from this tutorial. See you next time.